Hey everyone, it's Ken from Culture Slate. Myself and several other Culture Slate employees are going to be reacting to the latest episodes of The Bad Batch, Season 3, Episodes 10 and 11. So, let's not delay any further, here we go! Things are cute. Baby's got some arms on him. Oh! Oh dear. The baby threw it. Oh dear. Oh dear. You know, this is like a really good like intro to the Rebels uh, show because of like the Inquisitors and hunting down force sensitive kids. What? 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 There's a bounty on the baby? What? Huh? Very cool. That's. Oh wow. That's very cool. Red light. I've spent years working by your side. That's a good point. A proper clearance. You wish to be the new chief scientist, Dr. Carr? Ooh, promotion. Let's begin by bringing you up to speed on Project Necromancer. I get the feeling that she's gonna turn good. Like, she's just too methodical. It's a lot of security. Are we just gonna see what's in the vault this time? Or are we just gonna leave us hanging again? Those are kids, not specimens. But okay, buddy. They're children! These are the high subjects. Kids. Why children? An Itachi, uh, Miriolin? I'm not sure what the blue one is. It's not Chiss, she doesn't have red eyes. They're unaware. Jedi, First Order. The young clone's blood is the only binder that's proven to be compatible with uh, their DNA. Uh, oh! So, so Omega not, might not be force sensitive, but her blood may be able to be binded and compatible with making clones of force sensitive individuals. Very creepy. Hello. But also Hello. stuff we kind of seen before. Like very THX 1138, very AI, uh, artificial intelligence. Hey. He knows you're gonna get too chummy, and then you're gonna turn on him. <laughs> He's gonna try to escape. I can see that. It's a smart kid, but plan's probably not gonna work. Mm. Seems like we're once again away from the Bad Batch. Okay, I hear jingles, so I'm guessing that's Boba Fett. Nope, Cad Bane. It's Cad Bane! It's Cad Bane! He stunned her. Uh, he's gonna kidnap the kid. It's always funny it was Toto. It's like he's this like funny guy and he's like with this brooding card bane. Oh, they're doing an M count. Shouldn't be surprised, you know. Cad Bane's a bad man. I am not a nanny droid. <laughs> Huh. Scumbag. Selling out a child for money. She said she'd find out for me. Mm hmm? Find out what? Exactly my question. Be going home. Can you find out for me? I will look into it. There you go. She's gonna turn on him eventually and help all these kids escape. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> we got a runner. We got a runner. No. It's in lockdown, kid. Stay away from okay. Me. Red lighting is a lot creepier than the white. Oh, poor kids. Oh, oh, he knows the way. To... Oh, 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 oh. Poor kids. Sending commandos in to subdue a kid. A little extreme. Dr. Carr is already questioning the system. Like, if she wasn't before, she definitely is now. What will you do, Emery? There is nothing I can do. There's always something you can do. It is for a project that is of personal interest to the Emperor. Which is what? Wow, Tarkin doesn't even know about uh, Palpatine. 
you don't want assistance <laughs> or you don't want to provide assistance you just want to swoop in and take credit once everything goes well okay that's the killer clone whatever you call those recognize that helmet Barsunt. got those uh ralph mccrory little space stations you see a little bit of them in uh i think rebels with over geonosis but this one looks more closely to the design. It's could be a Golan station from uh, Legends, but uh, those were the stations that were orbiting around Coruscant as a protection. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of Scorch here. I guess we're not really going to be seeing the rest of Delta Squad in this show. I wonder if uh, Brendel Hux from the father of uh, General Hux knew about this because he's the one who sort of proposed the uh, abduction of children. Eva. You lied. Yep, exactly. Can I arrive this for us or can I not? It's not that she lied, she just didn't know. Oh, and she kept Omega's toy. So she still has Omega's doll. Oh, you're doing that. Oh, ain't that cute. Oh, she's giving it to Eva. Aww. Yeah, I'm... I definitely want to see where this is going to go. So that was very, uh... Oh, we're ending very quiet. Kind of like with, uh... The end credits is a much more softer... Music. Alright, and we're going to start the next episode. Here we go. Alright, here we go. Past the point of no return. Or I guess this is the point of no return. Oh, this looks like the place uh, Anakin, uh, not Anakin, uh, Padme. Padme gave birth to kids. Oh, this is the gas station. This is like a uh, um, intergalactic 7 Eleven or Tim Hortons. She's like Pelly from uh, The Mandalorian talking to her droids. So who's calling out that uh, clone spy, that uh, spy clone? Does anyone think that's tech? I don't know. It's a theory, but it's possible. Uh, Wrecker's just a big kid. Another bustling little market. Hey, who are these kids? Oh, <laughs> there's Batcher. Good girl, Batcher. Uh oh. Everybody's always distracted whenever there's some kind of radar or something saying that a bad guy's coming in. So this guy's gonna scout around until he finds Omega. A little tracker. Oh, oh, is he? No, these aren't trackers. Oh. Oh, he saved the gunk droid. He destroyed their ship. And here come the stormtroopers and the one clone trooper. A really sense of size with this whole city here. We're going to different parts of the city. That's a lot of work to animate. Destroying all means of escape and jamming our comms. It's just the Empire being the Empire. Destroying everything and cutting everybody's escape off just to capture one person. Until she's turned over to me, your island will burn. Yeah. We could already see the seeds of a rebellion. I mean, I mean, it was obvious as soon as the Empire took over, but stuff like this, even people who are like relatively chill with the empire um yeah stuff like this would definitely make them see the empire in different light she's probably gonna try and turn herself in she's not the type of person to stand by and let all this kind of stuff happen but then now they got a tag on that ship <laughs> <laughs> I can't shake him! Oh no, 
not, I see one just running around. Still. Yeah. Hunter! Where is he? Do you see him? <gasps> oh my gosh! Daisy, you better be giving me a medical compensation for the amount of heart attacks you've been giving me. Our only choice is to let them capture me. That's not your only choice. But what they've already done. I can't let the Please no, it's not your only choice. You'll be yep. taken back to Tentus. Exactly. We've been trying to find those coordinates. Ooh. Can I calm on me and turn myself over? You can track me to Tentus. Uh, ooh. You're, they can remove stuff from you. Too many unknown variables. It's not a viable plan. Best plan you've got. Focus on the bigger mission, Crosshair. I'm just a small part of it. That's very big of her to say that. Stop! I surrender. Scan her for tracking devices. Oh. Yeah, exa exactly what Crosshair said. Fine. Yeah, that wasn't gonna work. But, secondary tracker, that should work. <laughs> Just batch her. That sure kind of reminds me of Bronx from the Gargoyles, their dog. Window, the window of opportunities. Um, loose blow. Oh, no, you lost it. And that plan just went south. This time, though, she's gonna have help from uh, Dr. Carr. Right, ending again with a uh, kind of a different outro. I'm curious how this will all end up because it's like now we're reaching to the end. It started with Tantus, it's gotta end on Tantus. So they get Omega back. There's a separation involved because she's learning more about her force sensitivity. She alerts them, not through any uh, technical means, since that's the, what the Empire's been doing. She alerts them through the force. So, well, yeah, I mean, that's a guess. And as for who this uh, clone spy is, we've been seeing so much of him. I, I just cannot. It's got to be tech. I mean, it might not be. It might not be, but... Don't set yourself up too high, but it's like, I mean, we're seeing so much of this guy. We're seeing so much of Emery, there, and we, we've got nothing of Sid, too. Like, I mean, I don't even know if she's going to ever come back. I think maybe we've tossed her out because she betrayed the Batch. Yeah, well, let's see how this goes. It's just good to see just some more character stuff in episode 10. You can tell, you can tell that uh, Dr. Carr is shifting, like, shifting her um loyalties. It's obvious that, um... By the end of this series, she's going to be aligned with with um, with um Omega and the Bad Batch, or at least against the Empire. So we'll we'll see. And then with episode 11, the, again, I love the world building stuff there. But the, um, I, I forgot the name of plan. It went around my head. But seeing that they just integrate themselves into the community of that planet is just amazing. All this stuff is just peak Star Wars, in my opinion. It, things are going to be different this time. Things are definitely going to be different. I think Omega is going to be escaping there um, sooner than later. Uh, overall, just awesome episodes. I can't wait for episode 12. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more Bad Batch reactions and join our public Discord. The link is in the description. What did you all think of the latest episode? Let us know in the comments below. We'll see you all next time. Bye.